Welcome to the Licensed to Live show, where professionals, doctors, champions, VIPs, attorneys, and those in public office discover strategies that help you restart and gain what is lost when you find yourself accused. If another has doubted your integrity, questioned your credentials, or caused your actions to come under scrutiny, you are in the right place. On the other hand, if you have never felt the knot in the pit of your stomach when legal papers are served, the heartbreak of disappointing your family when the lock clicks shut on handcuffs, or had to appear before a board of review, then be aware, the longer you serve, the more likely you are to find yourself under the microscope of those who judge. Prepare yourself for this uncomfortable possibility. Now, here's your host, Dr. Jarrett Patton. Welcome to episode 52 of Licensed to Live. I'm Dr. Jarrett Patton, and I'm your host for today's show. And every day you choose to listen to this show, thank you all for your support over the nearly year that we've been running this show. It has been such a journey, and I would not continue to do this if it weren't for you, my listeners. So thank you. Now, on with the show. Recently, some of you may have seen a blog I wrote for Kevin MD about uh, the rapper Jay-Z. He's a musician, a music mogul, uh, and has really branched out to do a lot of things outside of music. And I found Forbes recently putting him on the billionaires list and put him as the first rap music billionaire, specifically uh, because of all the things that he's done and his true net worth. So you can go check out the article in Forbes. It is there for you guys to see. However, there are a number of parallels I wanted to draw from Jay-Z's story to a story as a physician or a professional or a healthcare worker. There are a number of reasons that Jay-Z is classified in this exclusive billionaire category. Meanwhile, Professionals have the ability to be high earners, but few ever make the ranks of millionaire, let alone billionaire. And let's state, for the record, most people don't go into their career ever thinking they're going to become a billionaire. And I'm sure Jay-Z was like that along his journey, too, in the beginning. However, with increased success, you can get from his humble beginnings in the Marcy housing projects in Brooklyn to becoming a household name and a billionaire. So he found ways along his journey and received some good advice that made him successful beyond his career as a musician. And this is something that we can all learn. So first off, you have to take the time to practice your craft. And when you practice your trade, it builds the foundation of possibility. Jay-Z spent years practicing his craft, which yielded some 14 albums over his career. And of course, physicians and other professionals spend quite a bit of time educating themselves and practicing their trade in the name of safe, effective, timely, efficient and equitable care. We are all accustomed to hard work. Credentials verified. But if Jay-Z decided simply to make albums for the rest of his life, he would be on solid financial ground, as would anybody that practices their craft over their entire lifetime. In fact, physicians specifically who practice their craft may make 10 to 20 million dollars in salary from an employer if they work for 30 or more years. That's a lot of money. Now, it may not seem like much with taxes and student loan repayments and things like that that dwindle it down, but it is a lot of money. But very few people actually get that taste of the millionaire lifestyle. Conversely, the average full time primary care physician generates about two point one to two point four million dollars in revenue annually for their employer. That's two point one to two point four million dollars annually. So I really want you guys to remember this next time you're re upping your contracts with your employers. Think about how much revenue you're generating versus how much of that you are getting paid. Number one, take your show on the road. Early in his musical career, Jay-Z hit the road for concert tours. 
This allowed him to perform in cities outside of his hometown and generate additional fans and income. Professionals often speak at conferences, grand rounds, and other events, but most often they don't leave their home institution. Going and taking your show on the road can add to your notoriety and your credibility on a larger scale than the hospital system you're working for. Additionally, speaking in and of itself can be an additional revenue stream for many people. Number two, strengthen your personal brand. So while Jay-Z stayed on concert tours to strengthen his brand, which allowed him to pursue other interests, doctors, on the other hand, typically go on the road to strengthen the brand of their employer. So we do a lot of talking for hospitals, hospital systems, maybe other large affiliates. So when a new publication, a new book, a new treatment is discovered by the team, the majority of the credit goes right back to the institution. You get very little personal stake in that and your brand does not really improve based upon this. So hospital systems love to slip intellectual property clauses in employment trap contracts. And this prohibits individuals to take their talents, their systems, their applications, their publications elsewhere once they have been built within that institution. It's because health systems love to brag about how smart their doctors are and publicize all the great inventions they have created. I mean, all you have to do is look on TV. You see those uh, commercials that are on TV with everybody striking that doctor pose that you can you can almost visualize as you're thinking about it. But this isn't really a problem if you're promoting your organization. But you must look beyond promoting the organization to build a reputation for yourself because it is easy to get lost in the shadow of large institutions. Number three, follow your passions. Jay-Z spread his brand to develop his personal interests, including fashion, music, and beverages, just to name a few. In fact, his love of music led him to create his own record label, a clothing line, a music streaming platform, a cognac, a champagne, and lots of stuff. He was not afraid to pursue his other interests, even when he could have been comfortable simply making music. So when you look at healthcare, Individual physicians tend to suppress their internal interests because it does not directly relate to seeing patients. Frequently, doctors are told to stay in their lane and simply keep seeing patients. Uh, while the hospital systems are built on the assumption that doctors have one purpose, seeing patients. So here on the License to Live show, we have highlighted many doctors who have not been afraid to pursue their true interest and use their talents outside of medicine in order to do something great and get themselves out of the daily grind and the one trick pony that we've talked about before. They are able to go after their true passion, which made their lives happier and fuller. And we spend a lot of time talking about this on License to Live because we want people to understand that, yes, being in healthcare is a great thing. If you're a physician, being a physician is a great thing. As a nurse, a dentist, you name it. All of these things are great and needed and have their own unique talents. But there is more to you as an individual than simply taking care of patients. So I want you to understand that and be able to use this to follow your passions. Number four, this one, this one's a bonus one that uh, I didn't even mention on the blog. But don't let your past hold you back. Many people look at Jay-Z's early career and there are some allegations that he may have been a drug dealer or done some other unscrupulous things. But there a, comes a point in your life where you can make a decision and you can let some of those maybe negative attention grabbing moments in your life define your life or you can make your own definition and move forward and move beyond that. And that's exactly what Jay-Z did in this. He took some of his negative past and said, I'm done with that and I'm moving on a new career. And he completely defined his new career, his new persona, his new brand on lots of positive things 
including music, but lots of humanitarian efforts as well. So keep that in mind. Number five, manage your finances. Now, investing money is not really a foreign concept to most people, including the rap mogul himself. However, the only thing I'll say at this point is to work with a professional because all too often professionals, physicians, dentists, pharmacists alike live check to check like everyone else in this nation. People carry a high debt load. They have very little to invest. They if an emergency comes, there may not be those funds. So work with a professional to help navigate the tax system and plan for your future. For instance, if you're working for a hospital system, probably 30% or more of your salary may go directly to your taxes. 30%. The IRS does not care how much educational debt you have. They don't care about how many children you have. They do a little bit, but not much. You will still be putting 30% aside. So if you haven't worked with a financial advisor, a financial planner, a CPA, maybe a tax accountant, any of these folks, you should add to your team of trusted individuals to help you frame your financial future so that it can be a strong financial future. And my favorite is number six, celebrate your wins. And anybody that's worked with me, they know that one of the things that I like to do right off the bat is let's have in in a session is celebrate the wins because so often we do so many great things in our lives. We sit there and don't celebrate the things that are great victories. You may have had a very difficult case that you figured out and improved someone's life. And a lot of times, instead of really reveling in that greatness, you sit there and say, well, that's just what I'm supposed to do because I'm a physician or I'm a surgeon or I'm a nurse. You must look at other things and celebrate even the smallest of wins, because when you have small wins, they lead to bigger and better and more exciting wins. So don't take anything for granted. In fact, when you look at Jay-Z, he has no problem using his base to spread awareness of his other brands. He's not shy of name dropping when he would name drop Rockefeller and some of his lyrics, which was his old record company or Rock Nation, his entertainment group or Rock Aware, the clothing line, or he'll use maybe synonyms, Gold Bottle or Ace of Spade for our mind to bring that champagne. Uh, he'll drop Duce in some of his his lyrics talking about his cognac and many other of his products and services he names in his music or will mention it in the media. So making people aware of your other interests can lead to additional opportunities and partnerships. Doctors do amazing things every single day, but rarely publicize that and just say, well, it's a job I was supposed to do. Take a moment to celebrate that achievement with your friend, with your partner, with your family, with your colleagues, or even in a public forum, that will help build your confidence and make you feel even better about your accomplishments. All too often, we take things for granted as routine or ordinary or just a job well done in general. But taking care of patients is a huge privilege, and we should take a moment to celebrate these everyday victories. So, most people don't go into healthcare to become a billionaire. I'd probably say there's probably very few people that think that that's even possible. So I'm not making a direct correlation to Jay-Z's financial success to anything that we may do in medicine. However, we can have a better footing, stand on more solid ground if we take some of the things that he's been good for, these six things that we've talked about today, and apply them to our own lives, we will be able to do better things day after day after day. Remember, Firestarters, thank you for listening to License to Live. Thank you for giving me the feedback to make the show better. And thank you for supporting me as we get ready to roll into season two. Licensed to Live. 
And if you ever have any questions, reach out to me on social media. You can set up an appointment with me at Time with Dr. Jarrett. Go to Time with, spell out the word doctor, J-A-2-R-E-1-T.com. Or simply hang out with me in LinkedIn. That's where I spend a lot of my time when I'm outside of the studio recording episodes. So you can see what's going on in between then. So thank you very much. And I will see you next time. No matter how disheartening the moment of accusation sounds, how deep the pain of immobilization stabs, or how bleak your future looks, no one can take away your license to live. Keep Dr. Jarrett's expertise handy and unlock your future. Go to Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, or another podcast player and subscribe right now to Licensed to Live. See you next time.